Hi, Ian Redford here, adwordscoaching.com.au and just want to do a quick video for you and show you how to put some conversion tracking code into your WordPress website or into a website so that you can track your conversions. Now, this is a brand new account, just started today. We've had a few conversions. I'm a bit, I'll click, so I'm a bit slow to put the... Um, uh, the code in today and uh, in fact the, the client started the campaign even before I was ready and uh, I had the display network turned on and it was all messed up this morning but we're all fixed today but anyway so you can see we're missing a few columns here if you you know at all looked at an AdWords account before and what we really want to know is how many people fill out the form on a particular website and uh, so we, all we really need to do is this to go to tools and analysis and this seems to change every second week so we're going to go to conversions and all we really need to do is click on new conversion give it a name let's call it website lead and it's going to be a web page and we're going to save and continue and conversion category and we're just going to call this a lead and it's a HTTP site. This is if it's a secure online server that you're sort of tracking the, the sale. Conversion value, we can keep that open. Um, this is two lines. Literally, you can leave, leave this all sort of uh, by default. I tend to, by habit, change that to English. And all we really need to do here, again, we've got advanced options here. We don't really, th and this is probably the best thing view view through 30 days I always leave that at 30 days that's good and that basically means that if someone clicks on your ad today but they don't convert until next week it'll still be counted all right they may come in through save your book bookmark your page or something along those lines that way you can still attribute the conversion to a Google click in the first place so it really helps with your uh, marketing now if you don't do the stuff, you know, put the the code in yourself. You can obviously just email it to someone who does all your web work and put a little message in, etc. Now, I'm going to do it myself, right? So I'm going to tick the little box there, and all I'm looking for is that code there, right? So I'm just going to Control Command C there and copy that to my clipboard, and click Done. Okay, and if I need to come back and get it again, I can just click on over here and click on Website Lead and go to Code and there it is again, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this website here, a nice, beautiful, wet-looking website that we created uh, a couple of weeks back, and um, log into the back end. So WP Admin, and should log me right in here. There we are, logged in, all logged in. And what we're looking to do here is go to Pages. I'm pretty sure I've created a thank you page and there's our thank you page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit and here's the really important thing when we're talking about um, I guess WordPress and even if you're doing this in Joomla or any other type of uh, website management system is that we've got the option to you know, paste stuff in visual or in HTML and we really need to do it in HTML and all I'm going to do is just paste that code in there and you can't, if I go back to visual, we can't see that code there on the screen, it's just not going to display and I'm going to go ahead and click update and that's it. Right, so that basically inserting that script or that code into the HTML part of your web page and if we go ahead and view the page we wouldn't be, we'd be none the wiser that there's some actual code in here and what it's doing is actually tracking each time someone goes to our Google AdWords account you know, and does a search, clicks on one of our ads and if they go ahead and fill out the form because basically that thank you page is the page that happens after someone fills out the form here. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, need any tips, tricks, um, you know, more information about adwords yeah please pop over to adwordscoaching.com.au uh, and uh, i'll be happy to help take care